Hi everyone, and this is a Catherine's Nugget. I don't know what we're gonna call this stuff, but I've finished the three devotional books. You can find them in my playlist, uh, but I've been kind of wondering what I'm gonna do next. Yes, I've been doing some casual stuff, and we're having the once a week live stream where we talk about what I had written in the previous week. And I don't think I'm going to be doing another book for a while, just for a heads up for some people who asked. So what to do next? Well, we'll just see. But today, a quote came across my desk. And I'm not sure you know, but one of my websites is called dailychristianquoteallthegether.com. And it's a collection of quotes that I have been adding to since 1990. Seven. Now, if you go on the website and you go all the way back to the very first one I have posted there, it's 2002. That's because I wasn't sending out the quotes on the website for quite a few of the years. And I am going back now and pulling up old quotes and bringing them to the forefront mixed in with um, new quotes that I found along the way. Well, today, this quote came across my path. It got me thinking, what makes a really good leader? Who are people that we are drawn to who might be a host on a YouTube chat, who might be somebody who is a pastor or a teacher or even an employer or an influencer? I hate that term, influencer. I will do a rant on it one day, I am sure. The guy I'm going to quote from was a third or fourth century Christian. Uh, he was a pastor. He was highly educated. He knew his Bible inside and out. Um, and he was a good teacher, but he was more than that. His quotes and the stuff that he writes transcends time. Stuff he wrote way back then, you think he wrote it last week. As a matter of fact, I thought this dude was somebody maybe from the last century, but he's not. He's talking to the people that are in his congregation. He's talking about church, but you can apply this in a lot of ways. But this is what he says about himself. To me, it is nothing when I am applauded and well spoken of. There's only one thing. I ask of you to prove your approval of me through your works. This is how you can speak well of me, and this is what is going to do you good. This to me is the greatest honor. I prefer it to a material crown. I do not desire applause and being well spoken of. I have one request to make of you, to listen to me in quiet attentiveness and to put my advice into practice. This is not a theater talking about church. You don't have to sit there in order to admire actors and to applaud them. This is a place where you must learn the things of God. Now, you could change that to this is a place where you must learn the things of life. And the people who I am drawn to who have taught me the most are people who are intelligent, well-rounded, perhaps are quite well-educated, perhaps they got two or three degrees behind their name, or maybe they've just got a high school education, but they've got a wealth of knowledge and a wisdom both in head knowledge and in practical living out their lives that draws me to them because any advice that they might give me, whether it's intentional advice where they say, hey, Catherine, this might help you out, or it's unintentional advice that they give just by something they say in passing. I know by the way that they live their lives, the way that they treat others, the respect they have for others, no matter what their background might be, even if it's a different background than their own. These are the people that I am drawn to. This is, these are the people whose advice I will listen to. And people who I have been really drawn to in the past who I have taken their advice, I have gone to them and said, you know, 
you said something the other day and what you said got me thinking and I was able to apply it to that situation and I could see their eyes light up because it was like they went bingo it's not about me and my knowledge it's about you taking what I said and applying it to where you're going and that's kind of where I'm going with this channel if I can think of it that way I don't want it to be about me uh, if I bring up a story about my past things that I have done in the past it's never so I am the star it's most of the time of unless it's something stupid that I did that I thought you might get a kick out of most of the time it's because I've gone through something where I learned something and it helps me redeem a difficult situation for example if I'm able to give you the nuggets that I learned through that difficult time it kind of helps me go well that wasn't all for waste you know I got something out of it and I was able to help someone else with it by the way you can subscribe to the daily Christian quote by going to the website and there will be a link at the top of the page kind of right above the quote of the day click there and you'll get an email every day from the RSS server there won't be anything from me in that unless I actually happen to have written that quote uh, but it's just a way that it will drop in your mailbox or if you're on Facebook there's a group that I use because I can load up quotes up to two months in advance uh, which kind of helps me because I can get it all done in a couple of days and then I can forget about it and then every day the quotes new to me too but that is daily Christian quote on Facebook and uh, it's a public group anybody can join it anybody can share the quotes that are there talk to you guys soon bye bye